quite a contemporary take on a classic rock show. It's a big, simple, elegantly designed show. I believe Roger Taylor and Brian May had sat around a table and sketched the queue and the idea that, you know, the giant queue and how that would come, and they took that to Stewfish, and those guys uh, obviously, uh, you know, brought it into what you see here today, which is the finished article. When Rick Lipson came to us with the design of the queue, it was a gigantic queue, about 35 feet tall. And one of the biggest challenges was figuring out how we were gonna build a structure that could hold all the lighting instruments and the lasers and have some edge lighting on it that we designed to look like neon and yet still be tourable. We designed the queue in such a way that it loads onto carts in the position that it needs to be flown out. So when they roll in right off the truck, they can clip it onto their chain motors and start hauling out. With some of the pieces, this is quite a challenge to make a cart that could fit into a truck and be in the correct position. So we built pivot points inside the carts that allow some of the pieces to rotate and pivot into the correct position and then be clipped onto the next piece and flown out. You can build it in a stack sort of method. Loading doesn't start till 9 a.m. And uh, you know the band are on stage at four in the afternoon sound checkings. Without a rolling deck, you can't do these kind of big multi-truck shows. There's no way you can be doing, you know, building the lighting rig and all the rigging at the same time. You've got to be building the rolling stage, which has to happen down this end of the arena. So it's kind of a seamless process. As that goes up, that's built and then slides in, and the same on the out. Uh, on the out, we're about two and a half hour loadouts again, which you know, and this is only a 13 truck show, which in this day and age of, of arena touring is like small to medium. One of the most important things I felt that PRG had to offer our rolling stage, but also our engineering abilities. And our art department is fantastic and worked really closely with the design team to find the finishes that they were looking for. And our electrics department, which uh, came up with a fantastic neon looking product that was easy to maintain relatively inexpensive to produce, and the lighting designer Rob Sinclair absolutely loves. One of the really fun effects that we got to build for this show was a kabuki drop with a sniffer. It drops a drop that is about the size of the stage, wraps and encompasses the stage so that the band can get on the stage. It drops the drop, and then the sniffer sucks up the entire drop in a matter of five seconds or so. It's a cool effect and it's a great way, you know, taking a slightly more modern take on a traditional show opening moment, which is a kabuki drop instead of dropping the kabuki sniffer. And uh, I know PRG built us the sniffer to our design. Yeah, I think they, they did a great job and was really impressed with, uh, with the work that, that Mark and PRG Scenic have done. So uh, yeah, it's worked great and looks great.